The distributive property allows you to multiply a factor across multiple terms of an expression. In this video, we will look at the case where a is negative, b is positive, the coefficient of x is greater than 1, and the expression in parentheses involves addition. Let's start with an example. Take a number, multiply it by 7, add 9 to the product, and multiply the sum by negative 8. Use the distributive property to write this expression. Evaluate it for x equals 6. This is an example of converting words into an algebraic expression. Let's start with this part. Take a number, multiply it by 7. Since we don't know which number, we designate it as 7x. This number is increased by 9, so we write 7x plus 9. This sum, or the entire expression, is multiplied by negative 8. So we enclose the expression in parentheses and multiply the whole expression by negative 8, as shown here. This is the mathematical equivalent of this verbal expression. We now distribute the negative 8 to both terms, as shown here. We get negative 56x minus 72. Notice that the negative 8 changes addition to subtraction here. We evaluate the expression for x equals 6, as shown here. We get negative 336 minus 72, which is negative 408. Let's look at another example. Take a number, multiply it by 11, add 18 to the product, and multiply the sum by negative 12. Use the distributive property to write this expression. Evaluate it for x equals negative 5. This is an example of converting words into an algebraic expression. Let's start with this part. Take a number, multiply it by 11. Since we don't know which number, we designate it as 11x. The number is increased by 18, so we write 11x plus 18. This sum, or the entire expression, is multiplied by negative 12, so we enclose the expression in parentheses and multiply the whole expression by negative 12, as shown here. This is the mathematical equivalent of this verbal expression. We now distribute the negative 12 to both terms, as shown here we get negative 132x minus 216. Notice that the negative 12 changes the addition to subtraction here. We evaluate this expression for x equals negative 5, as shown here. We get 660 minus 216, which is 444. Let's look at a final example. Take a number, multiply it by 21, add 35 to the product, and multiply the sum by negative 24. Use the distributive property to write this expression. Evaluate it for x equals negative 1. This is a final example of converting words into an algebraic expression. Let's start with this part. Take a number, multiply it by 21. Since we don't know which number, we designate it as 21x. This term is increased by 35, so we write 21x plus 35. This sum, or the entire expression, is multiplied by negative 24, so we enclose the expression in parentheses and multiply the whole expression by negative 24, as shown here. This is the mathematical equivalent of this verbal expression. We now distribute negative 24 to both terms as shown here. We get negative 504x minus 840. Notice that the negative 24 changes addition to subtraction here. We evaluate this expression for x equals negative 1. 
as shown here. We get 504 minus 840, which is negative 336.